Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for the next seven days. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, we're just going to see what comes up, but keep in mind that not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may or may not be for you. If, the, if something gets said in this reading that you don't agree with, then it's, you know, that part's not for you. Don't try to make it fit. Okay, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days. Apparently things do not want to keep together. And that is your card. It is reversed. Um, there could be a lack of discipline. You may, you may be feeling, you may be going through a repression right now. You may not be able to master your emotions. You could be, fear could be in the way of victory. You, you could be uh, hindering your own success by not taking action. Okay, somebody's not taking action. They're letting fear hold them back. Okay, that's what we got going on here. Somebody does, isn't heading in the right direction because they're letting fear drive. You need to put yourself in the driver's seat. You need to take action. We want one card. One card for cancer. Oh, wow, doesn't that look nice? This is, this is an unexpected choice in love, okay? So now you have a choice to make. And it's probably going to be unexpected. It's something that you didn't even expect to make. Okay. Now the lover's card signifies uh, a union, a partnership, um, a decision that needs to be made. Uh, there's going to be consequences based on your decision. You absolutely have two choices here. That's what this means. You have two choices. What are you going to do? You probably got this new idea or this new vision or you got this thought going on and that you want to go in one certain direction, but there could be somebody in the way, another person, you know, that's what this is. This is a choice between two. That's exactly what it is. And it's unexpected. So, hmm. now that is a card also of love heals. Love heals. It's seduction. It's a very seductive energy right there. Um, somebody could have this newfound attraction that has led them down a new path, and now they got to make this decision. I mean, that's what we got going on going on here. We got a decision that needs to be made. Do you want to keep going, or do you want to stay where you're at? I mean, that's what we got. Now it's a time of reevaluation. Sixes are reevaluation. Re Somebody is reevaluating their path. They may feel a soulmate connection in a different direction, and now they got to make a choice. Well. Unbelievable. So yeah, you definitely have a choice. And you see, if you look at this card right here, you didn't expect it. This is not the person you asked for. You see, you looking up there, somebody's looking up there at that angel like, what? This isn't who I thought. That's exactly what this card is. Okay, now you are present, being presented or you have this opportunity that is brought to you from above. Okay, this isn't who you thought. It's not what, who the person you thought it was. Okay, this is an opportunity for extreme happiness. It's an opportunity for growth. It's an opportunity for even perhaps a reconciliation or a rebirth of a situation. We have an opportunity for extreme happiness here, but you're going to have to make a choice. And this is a big choice. Okay, obviously you've got to make a choice between two people. That is what this is, two paths. And this person isn't, they don't look like what you expected them to look like. And that is exactly what, see, that's why she's looking up at the angel. She's like, well, what do you mean? This isn't, this isn't what I expected. This is not exact. this is absolutely not, the package is not what you expected. But... There's an opportunity for healing. There's an attraction. There's a desire. This, this angel has brought these two people together for a reason. There's a reason, okay? So you got this new connection here that you probably did not expect. 
there's lack of confidence. And that, you know, we saw that chariot card reversed. There's lack of confidence here. Somebody hasn't been progressing. They haven't been um, facing their fears with this Six of Wands, okay? They haven't been evaluating a situation correctly. And therefore, it is, it's kind of, they haven't been recognizing that they could find it a better happiness or that they do have a better mate someplace else. Somebody hasn't been recognizing. Ooh, look at the passion. Definitely a very uh, strong attraction, strong desire um, that has probably happened. There's probably this new vision, this new opportunity, this new spark. It's like this is your match. This is your match. And you may know it. You may know it. You may have met your match or you know who your match is or you... I don't know. Somebody, now we got a dead end here. Page of Pentacles reverse is a dead end. Somebody has been uh, in a stagnant, perhaps, situation where it's led to nowhere. There's been no growth. There's been boredom. There's been a lack of desire to follow through. Um, and there you are, King of Cups. Opening up, getting ready to open up. Now, this one is has a lot to offer so we got somebody here that has a lot to offer that is ready for love is emotion this person's ready i want love so that's what i just felt it's like i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready for love ready to open up got this new vision i know what i want it's almost like i know what i want very intuitive energy i think that you guys know that you have a better option and now you just have to make that choice to perhaps follow your heart and let go of the dead end i mean this is a dead end something's a blockage something is blocking somebody from a soulmate i mean the lovers is a soulmate especially when you got two of them okay so it's like somebody is being blocked from their soulmate it's like a soulmate connection is being blocked, perhaps because of the package. The package that it comes in may not be what you expected. That's exactly what it is, too. I know that's what it is. Oh, now we got you upright, mastering your emotions, putting yourself in the driver's seat, going in that direction, getting in the, you know, putting your pedal to the metal, getting in the vehicle. Taking charge. This is sneaking away. I think we have somebody here that is... There could be some cheating going on, honestly. Somebody may have been thinking about sneaking away or thinking about slipping away or thinking about going after this lover. There could be some cheating going on for some of you. I mean, I, I have to be honest with you here. Um, definitely, we have a very, this is very sexual energy. We have a, we have a, uh, it is very sexual. I mean, it really is. We have a, we have a, a strong attraction here to go in a different direction, no doubt. Go after happiness. We got somebody here that is actually taking the reins. I think they're letting go. Somebody is letting go of something that didn't progress. It didn't progress as it should have. Yes, this is a blockage and this is a blockage. So I think that, and there's some jealousy here. I think that somebody has been blocking their true feelings. I think we got somebody here that is putting the brakes on in one situation and going in another. That's what I think is happening. Somebody is letting go of a situation that didn't materialize right it didn't it didn't have any passion it just didn't
it didn't grow it didn't manifest it was it didn't lead them anywhere it didn't you know and now we have somebody here that is yeah, putting the brakes on. Somebody is absolutely putting the brakes on. On, It's almost like a, well, a situation where there just wasn't any teamwork. There wasn't any togetherness. There wasn't any cooperation or compromise. We have somebody here that is shutting down and completely... I mean, shutting down completely and slipping away, just, I'm getting out, just, just, this person may be leaving, you know, sneaking away, slipping away. Some, it's like somebody is, is being very shady, for one thing. Somebody is very sneaky, shady, uh, slippery, you know, slipping away, slipping away. We got somebody here that is slipping away, and it, it looks to me as though they just don't, have any more passion because uh, wands are passion to collaborate or work with whoever this person is could be a earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you know doesn't really suit them it's like this person doesn't do it for them and just doesn't do it I feel like we have somebody here that is is getting in the driver's seat and they're and it's like they're escaping. It's like that's what it is. It's like I'm escaping this situation for something better. Hmm. This is opening up. Letting go of that fear. You saw that chariot in the beginning. There was there was fear that was hindering, but we have somebody here that is letting go of the fear and going after what they are passionate about. They've made the decision. The decision has been made. They know that they have a better option. They may be fearing that they, there's no forgiveness, okay? There's, there's, there's a fear of, I mean, there's this, somebody may want a reconciliation here because this is a card of reconciliation, but there could, they, they could be fearful that there will be no forgiveness, that there will be no reconciliation, or there will, won't be given a chance, um, there's been some dishonesty as well. I think that somebody has been not telling the truth about their feelings, okay, about how they truly feel about an individual, and they've probably been hanging on to the wrong one. They probably have been hanging on to the wrong one. Maybe the package looked better. But I think what's happened here is, is they have a deep bond with somebody else. we got a deep bond happening. If you are single, you completely single and you're waiting, you have somebody coming in. Things are about to look up. When you get the Nine of Cups in reverse, this is actually really good in reverse. It means a wish is about to be uh, fulfilled. So if you are single, um, deep fulfillment is coming. It is coming. You will probably be meeting a real, uh, a real lover soon. You probably will, and it'll probably happen unexpectedly. That's what I see. I think that there's a deep bond here. There, If this is a reconciliation, because it absolutely could be, there's a deep bond with somebody that has been, it's almost like they somebody has cheated themselves of love by holding on to the wrong one because the package looked better, and this angel is trying to bring them together with the right one but there's unrequited love in the way. There's 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 a love situation that is not real, unfortunately. The Ace of Cups reverse, this is emotional shutdown. Somebody's going to shut down. And this is putting on the brakes. And this is uh, putting on the brakes. And I think we got somebody here that is putting on the brakes. And they are shutting down uh, communication. They're, they could be just sneaking away, slipping away. Um... You know, moving, I'm moving, or you're moving, you know, changing their circumstances. You know, somebody could be moving out because it's just not, it's not love. It's not love. And I feel like the reason it's not love is because there's somebody else. There is somebody else, somebody that is better suited. That's all there is. That is exactly what this is. But this, 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 this could be a reconciliation. It could be a reconciliation, but somebody has made a decision 
that it's time to go, that it's time to go. It's time to open up. It's time to let go. of the unrequited love situation. It's time to let go of the situation that's not fulfilling. And follow my heart to happiness. So I really feel like somebody has uh, been live that they've been self-loathing. They may have been in denial. And they were holding, they were maybe have been stubborn and resisting, resisting, uh, opening up, resisting what they're passionate, resisting what they're passionate about, just resisting, f I don't know why, somebody was resisting change, but now we have somebody here that is putting themselves in the driver's seat and it's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I made the decision to go. Yeah, the worst is over, this is, this is liberation, breaking free, this is liberation somebody is breaking free from a situation for real that just isn't love and it's because they have or they know or they're they're sensing or there's a deep bond here with somebody else yeah and i just want to be happy the five of swords is good in reverse it means i just i, I don't have anything to prove anymore i just want my happiness back so, Cancer, I really feel as though you're probably going to, you know, be deepening a bond. This is you're going to be deepening a bond, perhaps with somebody that has hurt you in the past or you have hurt them in the past. And I know that's hard to fathom. There's been some deception, there's been some dishonesty, there's been a secrets. Somebody's been keeping to themselves, they haven't been telling the truth about, you know, what they really want. And I feel as though, whether it's you or the other person, this can always go vice versa, but I feel like we have somebody here that has made a decision that they want to go back, and I see that too, that they want to go back to what made them happy. And I, But the package doesn't look... And I, I just keep saying that because that's what I see. The package doesn't look like what you expected it to look like, okay? That's why there's confusion here. There is confusion. This is this is coming out of confusion, thank God. But this is the confusion. What do you mean? This isn't what I this isn't what I usually am attracted to. But the attraction is beyond the surface, okay? It's beyond the surface. Somebody misjudged a situation based on the surface. Um, yeah, we got somebody here that wants to, to take back control of a situation. This person may be angry and jealous. <laughs> we have somebody here that... Now, who is this person? This is an Aries or a Capricorn. Could be anybody. Could even be you, Cancer. Could be anybody. This is somebody who is upset. This is somebody who is very upset. Things have been out of control. This person has been trying, clinging to control, very stubborn, angry, upset, trying to prove. And this one is this one was trying to prove. We got somebody here who's been trying to prove a point, and all it's done is made this person miserable. And this person, this person is. It's like things have been have been turned upside down for this person. Somebody has lost their focus and they've lost their concentration. There's been chaos. There's been disorder. There's been a lack of reciprocation. They've been so it's been it's been like a, a loveless situation, which has caused somebody's probably their health to go downhill. Now we got somebody that is wanting to, it's like ward off the comp competition. I'm, I'm ready to fight for what I want. And, and maybe that's why there's jealousy. There could be, there is some jealousy here. Maybe that's why there's jealousy because there's so much competition. 
there's come maybe they see the the other person has competition and they want to ward off the opponents there's definite anger here there's anger and there's somebody that is upset and there, there's some sort of argument or some sort of fight, some sort of uh, need to defend or protect. I gotta protect. I gotta, I gotta d defend what's mine. Before all the love is gone, so somebody's gonna be receiving a message. They're gonna be receiving a message. Um, from somebody that may want forgiveness. This person may want forgiveness. This person may want to, you know, you would give them a chance. And I don't know who this reading is for. So this is good news coming in, a message coming in, a positive message coming in from somebody that is well suited for you. This person is well suited for you. This person is coming out of confusion and it looks like they're ready to open up and spill the beans you know they're ready for a completion they're ready for absolution they're ready for forgiveness they're probably going to ask for forgiveness whoever this person is yeah they're afraid we got somebody here who hasn't been telling the truth and that is the damn truth okay somebody absolutely has not been telling the truth about how they really feel they've been lying but they're ready to open up because they're so attracted. There's so much passion. Oh, God, but they're fearful. They are fearful. They've been thinking about it a lot. Think, 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 think. Afraid to take action. We got somebody here that is afraid of rejection. Absolutely, because they're, you know, we could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody may be, or Leo, it doesn't matter. We have everybody here, but... We, we have somebody here who can probably get really upset. Okay, this person, she'll cut you out quicker than shit. So, um, she will. She don't put up with any bullshit. She's angry. She's been hurt as well. So, we have a masculine and a feminine that has been hurt and is probably in a state of, or would be, when she gets presented with this, you know, she has a tendency to react harshly so i think we have somebody that is absolutely fearful of they're intimidated somebody is probably intimidated by <coughs> too intimidated to step forward but anyway this is this is uh this isn't this is a woman who it, it can be very bitter at times she can be a bitter pill to swallow so we got somebody here that is fearful of telling the truth because they're scared of her. <laughs> That's funny. Anyhow, um, but we have a message coming in. This person is reluctant. This person is reluctant. They are. But it's like their heart is like, oh, I want to go in this direction. It's like their heart is about to burst. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. You know, I just want to be happy. I don't have nothing to prove. I'm ready to let go of my ego. And ego has driven. Ego has been the driver of this mess. It has. So I feel like we, we have somebody here that is deciding to take a new approach. They're really, they're, they're, they, it's like they got this new vision and they're probably going to communicate after thinking about it for quite some time. They're afraid. We got somebody who is absolutely afraid. But... They're realizing the opportunity for love. They're realizing the Five of Cups reverse is great. It's like I realize what love is. I realize that this is love. They've they've have regrets. Somebody is beginning to realize that there's an opportunity for love. Now this could even be somebody brand new. There could, if this is not a reconciliation, this could be somebody brand new. This could be a new suitor coming into your life that is very well suited for you. And you realizing, you know, this is a good opportunity. It's, 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 you know, you're going to have to let go of your bitterness if you are taking on that energy. You know, if you got your guard up and you're in fight mode, then this isn't going to work. Maybe you need to let your, your fight mode go. Um... 
you know what I think? I think that we have a spontaneous attraction or an instant attraction or a undeniable attraction that is coming into focus this week with a person that is very well suited for you. Whether this is somebody old or somebody new, it could be either. Somebody is beginning to realize that there is love to be had. They have been reluctant to take action because of, of fear of being rejected, fear of getting hurt, fear of being cut out, fear of, you know, well, dashed expectations. We're, we have somebody here that has been fearful to communicate or fearful to get involved protecting themselves and and you know now it looks as though we have somebody here that is putting themselves in the driver's seat and they're right ahead in a new direction um wherever they are headed it can lead to extreme happiness extreme with that sun card this is an opportunity for a rebirth it's an opportunity to feel all warm again to feel love again to feel happy again okay so there's 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 happy there's an opportunity for happiness here with somebody that is very well suited for you but this is taking action this is mastering your emotions and taking the driver's seat putting yourself in the driver's seat you know uh not letting fear get in the way and fear has been big fear has been big so i think that we have somebody here that is is has been thinking about slipping away from the wrong one they're thinking about how they're going to get away how they're going to escape how am i going to escape this unrequited love situation and i feel like they're about to escape this guy is escaping so i think that we got somebody here that is about to escape somehow you know maybe they're going to shut down emotionally and they're going to communicate with the other person there's a third part there's three people here i think i do believe there's a third part there is because there's a choice between two so Somebody is going to get cut out. That's what I see. And uh, somebody's been clinging to the memories of the past. So there definitely could be a reconciliation here. It's like somebody doesn't want to let go of the past. Could be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But there's definite fear of rejection here. Um, looks to me like we got somebody here that is angry, they're jealous. They've been seeing the the opponents. They've been seeing that this person has other options because I can see that before. And it's like they're being forced to make a decision. I think they are ready. I think that they're realizing the love or they're realizing that this is an opportunity for love or they want this love or they realize the attraction is too deep, the bond is deep, or they, they feel the deep bond or they feel the past life connection. This is a deep bond between two people. Two people have been brought together from above. Okay, that's what we got here. There's a past life connection for sure. Or there's a soulmate. There's a soulmate connection here. Okay, there is. There absolutely is. And I feel like um, somebody may be clinging. We could keep going all day. I gotta stop. I gotta stop now. Um, anyway, you have a choice. You have a choice, Cancer. You have to choose wisely. Choose wisely. And there's, there's, okay, there's three cards of consequences here. This one, this one, and the Seven of Cups is a card of consequences. There's consequences for the choice that you make. Okay? The consequences are, you know, not being happy. Letting your ego get in the way of happiness, whether it's you or the other person. Um, there is an ego happiness. Imagine that. But anyway... Yeah, so I think ego has been the driver of, uh, it's almost like a fatality. You know, there's, been, there's, there's like some sort of, you know, uh, ego. It's what's that foolish pride, another love lost to foolish pride. You know, a love has lo been lost to foolish, pr foolish pride. I mean, it's like now somebody is realizing that there is an opportunity for love, you know, if they can master their emotions and get in the driver's seat and take action. And head in that new direction. There is an opportunity for love. There is. But you got to remember. The package. Because I got. I don't know why this comes out. And it comes out for you guys a lot. I don't know why. Does not. Fit. The description. That you always pictured in your head. 